Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Lisa Show and today we'll be making a chicken with creamy mushroom sauce together with some really cute roast potatoes. I'm gonna start off my potatoes. I've just got some very cute and small potatoes here. These are the Indonesian gem potatoes that you can find here, but honestly, um, new potatoes work well. It doesn't matter if the skin is wax or the skin is like that. Um, I'll be leaving my skin on anyway. And we're gonna be slicing these potatoes like an accordion. So we're gonna go all the way in little slits, but not slicing all the way through. And just like that, and then you have this accordion effect. And once you've got those potatoes done, you're going to make a mixture of about a quarter cup olive oil, a quarter cup butter, together with about um, three cloves of garlic mince. And you're going to put that in a bowl. And you're going to take your brush, and we're just going to be slathering this all over the potatoes. And so these are what they look like and I'm just gonna salt and pepper them before we pop them in the oven. And I've got the oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius. So you can just leave that to preheat as you're preparing all your ingredients. And we're gonna be popping them in for about 20 minutes. So what we're basically going to do is we're going to bake that twice. So that's going to go in the oven for 20 minutes and we're going to come out, slather more of that mixture over and then we're going to top it with some delicious cheese and garnish that are pasty. So we're just going to let that bake and for now we're going to be working on our chicken. Now I've got a pan over here and we're going to have that to about medium to high heat. Okay, and then you're going to be putting just a splash of oil. got here three chicken boneless thighs, okay? Just salt and pepper and then we're gonna pan, um, pan fry that. So wait till your pan gets hot enough. Just spread the oil out. Okay, and then we're gonna take our chicken and we're gonna um, pan fry that skin side down. So this will take about eight minutes on each side. And one really important tip is before you actually put your chicken in, um, when you wash them, um, you have to pat dry it just so that it's um, dry. So that we, when you pan dry it, it's crispy and it's not soggy. Because you want it to be crispy. Okay, and now when our chicken is cooking is when you can work on the ingredients for our creamy mushroom sauce. Now I'm going to be adding some herbs. I've got here some rosemary leaves and some thyme leaves. They're all fresh. Um, if you can't get them fresh, you can use the dried versions as well. Um, so with, with rosemary and thyme, all you got to do is, first of all, I don't wash them when I buy them. Um, just because I like my herbs very dry um, and they've been dried out when they're stored in the um, grocery store. So what you do is you just peel out the leaves. Now we don't want the whole stalk, you're just going to peel out the leaves. So for thyme and rosemary, they both go the same way. You take your stalk and you peel your leaves the opposite direction of the direction that the leaves are growing. So the leaves are growing like that, you peel them down this way and the leaves come out very nicely from the stalk. Just like that. So we've got some rosemary and some thyme. And next I've got some flat leaf parsley. Um, again, I use the Italian parsley. Don't use coriander. Even though they look the same, don't use the English parsley. Um, Italian flat leaf parsley gives the best flavor. So I'm just gonna be taking these and I'm just gonna be chopping them up roughly.
can really smell the flavor of all these fresh herbs and it's just going to make our sauce just taste so good when we add them in later. Okay, I'm just going to set this aside and we're going to check on our chicken. So I flip that beautiful chicken. Look at that. And the skin's looking beautifully golden brown. I'm just gonna leave that there to just cook the rest all the way through. And now we are gonna move on to the next key part of our sauce, and that is the mushrooms. Now I've got here some brown Swiss butter mushrooms. You can use the white one if you want, but honestly, I feel like the brown one has a lot more flavor. Um, Cremini mushrooms work really well for this recipe. I couldn't find them in the store, so I've settled with these. Um, I don't wash my mushrooms. If you really ain't know about it, you can use a wet paper towel and um, wipe that clean, but it looks kind of gross after that. Um, reason why I don't wash it is because mushrooms release a whole lot of water. Even like this, they release a ton of water. If you wash them, they're going to release a lot more, and we don't want that. We don't want our sauce to be so diluted with the liquid from the mushrooms. Okay, so you're just going to take your mushrooms and we're going to just cut them into quarts. So first we remove the stem, like just like that. It's the tip of the stem, not the whole stem. Uh, so it's a bit dirty, and then you're just gonna cut that in quarts. And don't worry if it looks like it's too big, because honestly, um, mushrooms shrink really, really by a lot. <laughs> so it looks like you've got a lot of mushrooms, just like looking at this box. But actually, when you cook it in, you're like, wait, what? That's all I've got. Yep. Just gonna keep working our way through, cutting them in quarts. And honestly, this dish is just gonna be so comforting. I think it's gonna be a favorite among the kids, to be honest, because kids love creamy things. I don't know. It's just delicious and creamy and cheesy, but so filled with flavor because of all the herbs that we've got. It's just, uh, it's just so good. And you could eat it with um, rice if you want to. You could serve it with rice, or you could serve it even with pasta, like on top some um, fusilli or some penne pasta. Um, but we're gonna be eating that with roast potatoes because these roast potatoes are so cute, seriously. They're so small. Okay, all chopped. Okay, so now they've been in for 20 minutes and we're just going to continue slathering more of that mixture over. You can see the potatoes are starting to open up, which is exactly what we want. Look at that. And then we're going to finish that with some cheese. Chicken is all done, beautifully brown. We're just gonna take that out. Look at that! Wow. Ooh. Wow. Okay. We're gonna turn that fire off. Okay. So a little remnant of meat, and I am gonna set that aside. Now you're gonna notice that the pan has got these brown marks on them. Okay. Um, don't worry about scraping that off. We're going to be making the sauce right in this pan. And the beautiful part about this is we are going to be deglazing that pan and all that gung you see is just the flavor that's going to be in the sauce. So it's going to be great. So we're going to turn on fire, um, medium to low heat would be good enough. And I'm putting about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of butter. Okay. And this is what is going to help me. Deglaze that pan. Butter. Slowly deglaze that pan. And then we're gonna be adding our garlic in. This is about four cloves of garlic. Okay. 
and together in our mushroom go. And together with our herbs. So our rosemary and thyme. Together with our fresh parsley. We're just gonna be using about three quarters of this because we're gonna save some of this for the garnish for our potatoes. And we stir. Just keep moving that around, don't let the garlic burn. Ah, oh, you can really smell that. Now, first you're gonna see the mixture's a bit dry. But after a while with the heat, as the mushrooms start to sweat, um, you'll start to see that they release a bit of liquid, so that will start to form the base of your sauce. So now just keep moving that around, keep sauteing that for that lovely colour on our mushrooms. Smells great. And you can see the pan is like clean now, it's all deglazed, all that flavour is in the mushroom going into our sauce. So you want to keep sautéing this for about a couple of minutes, maybe three minutes, just to get the mushrooms brown, get them to sweat, and get the um, flavors of the herbs to really come out before we add in our cream. And to that, we're going to add a bit of salt and pepper, just to season. You can see the mushrooms are starting to sweat. Um, there's this glistening shine around them and the mushrooms are starting to get smaller as well. Okay, now when you see your mushrooms are starting to get brown, fragrant, it's starting to get a bit smaller, just like that, we are gonna be adding in our cream. So I've got here cooking cream. Okay, this is about 20-ish percent of fat. Um, we also have thickened cream, which is 35%. You can use either, um, but I'm just going to go with cooking cream because it's quite a light sauce. You can reduce your heat at this point of time. Look at the slip, it's so small. <laughs> it was so hot. And I'm gonna slowly let that simmer down. Now look at that beautiful color. Um, you get that from the mushrooms, you get that from that gung that you let, you're left with from the chicken. You pan fry that and it's just beautiful. Slowly gonna let the aroma of that thyme, that rosemary. Oh, so good. And now you're gonna let the sauce slowly bubble until the cream kind of thickens just a little bit more. Wow. This is such a hearty meal. I just can't wait to eat it. Oh, oh. Let that slowly thicken. Just a note about the cream. Sorry, I kind of squashed this box. But um, this is called cooking cream. Cream can be very um, confusing to navigate when you're in a grocery store because different brands call their cream differently. Different countries call their creams differently. So a good note um, would be to look at the fat percentage. So if you look here, it says the fat is about 20%, 20% milk fat. You can look at it under ingredients. Um, sometimes they have a different name, but as long as you find a cream that is around 20% um, fat content, you're good to go. So that is bubbling. And now you don't need high heat for this at all. Um, low heat to medium is more than you need. So that is slowly starting to thicken. 
Don't forget to scrape out all of that lovely garlic and herbs that you got stuck to a spatula when you were stir frying. So much flavor in there that we're not gonna miss out on. I've got here half a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, um, I, if you watch my videos, you know I only use freshly grated Parmesan because I hate the taste of powdered Parmesan. It's disgusting, it tastes like vomit. So use this and you are going to dump this in. Let that cheese melt all the way through. And you're gonna see the sauce is gonna get even thicker at this point. Now do remember Parmesan cheese is a salty cheese. It's got a beautiful nutty and um, gritty kind of flavor, a bit sharp cheese. So, so it's got a very nice flavor. You don't want to be seasoning your um, sauce before you add in the cheese. You want to add in the cheese first, see how that tastes. Look at the consistency of the sauce. Just look at that. Wow. It's so glistening and it's just the right texture. Um, it went from watery to now this beautiful kind of gravy like. And I'm just gonna be giving that a taste. Mm. I honestly don't think it needs any more salt. It's perfect. You take your chicken and you're gonna return that to this pan. And your chicken dish is ready. Just gonna turn that fire off. And we're gonna go grab our potatoes and plate. And we're gonna dig in. Look at that beauty. I can't wait. Oh, gonna have a bit of that chicken. How's Annie? Mm. Wow. Very good. Mmm. Mm. The sauce is beautiful. Mmm. Damn, that sauce is wow. rich. That's really good. Oh, it. oh my god, I'm gonna make this recipe even more bombs. White wine. Mm. Oh my god, mushroom is like. Very nice, potato. Oh. How is the potato? Crispy and soft. Mm. Mm. I'm honestly quite amazed because I'm not usually a roast potato kind of girl. I don't want to eat much roast potatoes. That's really good. Mmm. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I love the way the potato looks. Like, it's so cute. Look at that. Oh, like an accordion. <laughs> Ooh. Look mm. how the potato just like falls apart. Yep. Mmm. Honestly, this mushroom sauce could be eaten with rice or pasta on its own. Yeah. <clears throat> right. It's so flavorful. It's the parmesan man. Mm. and the herbs. It's like fresh parmesan is the way to go. Mmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm not, I'm mm -hmm. not talking much. It's so good. It's like... Mmm. Anyway, we are done. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you did enjoy the recipe and you tried it, please tag me on Instagram, which is right here. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you know when the next recipe is coming up. We'll see you guys. Bye!